one of the questions I frequently get asked by Catholics at various conferences um, and Bible studies is, can you give us more Bible studies on the writings of Paul? We want to understand St. Paul from a Catholic perspective. For so many Christians today, when we first hear about Paul or we first hear about the teachings of Paul, it's usually through a Protestant lens. So for example, St. Paul's teachings on the importance of faith, of being saved by faith and not the works of the law, has often been interpreted by our Protestant brothers and sisters as salvation by faith alone, sola fide. And one of the books that Protestants go to more than any other book in the New Testament is St. Paul's famous letter to the Romans, his letter to the Christians in the church at Rome, which is a kind of compendium of all of Paul's major teachings on Christ, the church, original sin, salvation, faith, works, predestination, the second coming of Christ. It's all there in Romans. And so in this Bible study, which I've called Sin and Salvation, a Bible study on Romans, we're going to walk through what St. Paul called the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ and his salvation for us. But we're going to do it from a Catholic perspective. We're going to see how Paul himself teaches that not only is faith important for salvation, but works are important in Romans chapter 2. We're going to look at Paul's teaching on predestination in Romans chapter 8. We're going to look at how baptism is essential for our salvation in Romans chapter 6. And we'll also study what St. Paul said would have to happen before Christ comes back in Romans chapter 9 through 11. In particular, his mysterious teachings about the conversion of the Jews. And finally, but no means least significantly, we're also going to take up St. Paul controversial moral teachings, in particular his teachings about homosexuality and homosexual actions in Romans chapter 1 and 2. This is a very controversial, very highly discussed topic today. What does the Bible teach about homosexuality and about homosexual acts? And we'll see that the Catholic Church gets her teaching on homosexuality directly from the pages of St. Paul's letter to the Romans. So there's virtually no topic in the epistle to the Romans that isn't timely and relevant today. So if you've ever wanted to really dive into the theology of Paul, the book of Romans is the place to go. And that's what this Bible study is all about.